Pastor Stephanie here, and it's been kind of a crazy day, hasn't it? Um, I'm sure that at school and uh, maybe at home and um, other places you've been hearing about the coronavirus or the um, COVID-19 virus, and I'm sure you have a lots of different feelings, um, and any feeling about it that you have, including no feeling at all, is totally okay. But I wanted to connect with each of you and tell you that, um, one, anything that you're feeling right now is okay. Because you know what, anytime we get information, the first place it goes is in the most primitive part of our brain. And so we don't really have control over how we feel when we get information. So you might feel super afraid or anxious or you don't care, but whatever it is, it's okay because your brain's kind of making that decision for you. But then there's this part where your power comes in, right? And so whatever feeling that you're having about the things that you're hearing on the news or the teachers talk about at school, or maybe you're overhearing things your parents are saying, anything, any feeling that comes up, you have the power to ask yourself, is this feeling helping me, right? So your parents are very smart and our governor is doing a lot to make sure that we're all safe. And I think we're gonna be okay, right? So if you're feeling super anxious or very scared, you have the ability to ask yourself, is this helping me right now? Because I don't want you to have to sit in that fear or that anxiety. So I'm gonna show you another trick, right? So maybe you're feeling anxious or concerned and you can't stop feeling that way. It just won't go away. So I want you to try something. And this trying something includes closing your eyes. So I'm gonna close my eyes. So you try and close your eyes too. And you're just gonna notice your feelings, whatever they are, they're totally fine. And I just want you to let them sit there and give them a face and a name and kind of welcome them, pretend that um, maybe they're a friend, that we don't have to be afraid of our feelings. Now, once they have a face and a name, I want you to take a big deep breath through your nose and fill up your lungs like a big, huge balloon until you can't fill them anymore. And then I want you to imagine sending your friend on a trip far away as you exhale through your mouth. Ready? You can open your eyes if you had them closed. And this is just a way that I try to deal with my worries and my anxieties and my fears because when they hang around too long, it can make our tummies hurt, our heads hurt, and that doesn't help us at all. So this is a trick that you can try anytime you feel worried or feelings that are kind of just not helping you out. And you can take as many breaths as you need to. You can send your friends on trips as many times as you need to. And you know that I'm always here for, me, for you, and you can always call and talk to me. Um, and that I love you very much. So I know it's not easy to be a little kid or even a big kid like me when things like this happen, but I want you to know that we're gonna be okay and that I love you very much. Take care. <laughs>